Alright, welcome back to Western Wild Survival Challenge, episode number 82. Um, we need to get uh, fertilizer on this field. Now, normally, I would have uh, opted to put the slurry on the, the field, but the problem is, is we do not have any kind of uh, slurry mobile. So, uh, until we can afford one, they're about s somewhere between 70,000 and a little more, you know. We're going to have to use this, but uh, for now, it's fine. I don't mind. Of course, you can already see, you know, with this thing, it doesn't take long to go across the field, so. I, I think I should actually pull this with one of the two tractors that has the, the sensor on it. Now, as you can see, there's weeds out here on the edge, and... Uh, I'm not sure we might push the edge of the field back a little bit so we're not so close to the pig pen. But, you know, whatever. But see, this is because I I did the two passes early when I wasn't sure what was going on and I was playing around with it, you know, and then had problems. But we now uh, have no problems, so see everything's working good. I've been recording videos this morning, so... Nice. No, does this, this thing just shut off when I get off the field? Yes, okay. So it's not a big, big problem. But uh, we still got, I was looking at the sugar factory, 180,000 sugar cane in there. Wait, why does it not need it over there or what? I have no clue. It's not. It or is it spraying? I can't tell. Oh yeah, it's spraying. It's a light spray. It's just you can't barely see it. So there's this one sugar cane standing there, but that's not going to cause any trouble. I don't think. I'm I'm hoping maybe by next time we're uh, we're thinking about buying another one. I'm hoping maybe when we sell sugar, which. Uh, I had looked it up, and now I can't remember when it goes. But I, I think this is the only field right now that needs anything. As far as, you know, as far as uh, putting any uh, fertilizer on it. And like I said, we will use the other fertilizer. We're going to... I'm not sure um, what we can do with the other... Uh, with our plant if we can add on to it down there but I would like to be able to get digestate and it may actually have it it just may not show it on there but um, I was you know okay I was thinking you know we look at this and we go up here you know that's our, our manure pit our slurry pit you can see those but we have grape juice we have raisins we have olive oil in there we have honey in there. We have sugar in there. This warehouse, um, I'm going to look into figuring it. I'm going to ask some questions. Um, if worse comes to worse, you know, I'll uh, I'll just make the changes myself to the mod. But there's no reason I should have to come over here and look and say, oh, okay, I got that much of that. So sugar, we're at 24,000. We still got 180,000 sugar cane in there. Ain't that ridiculous? I mean, that's just insane how much we got in there. Um, once we decide to uh, buy the new land, we are going to at some point put in another factory. But, you know, right now we just don't have the room for a factory. Uh, or, well, we have room for factories, but we just don't have uh, the money. I'm actually hoping maybe, I don't think sleeping overnight is going to get us enough to buy uh, anything, but it might get the corn ready to be uh, harvested, so uh, keep our fingers crossed. We might have to spray some fields, I'm not sure yet. Uh, our sunflower field is uh, is growing, and so is the, uh, what is the corn field across the street? I don't remember what's there. Not corn, because we got corn here. So corn's got one more stage yet to go. Then, oh wow, yeah, we're doing good there. So we just, if we would have rolled it, we would have done even better. But uh, we're obviously out of something in here. What is it? I'm assuming uh, herbicide. No, we're not actually out of herbicide for once. 
But it is, oh wow, we're at 80,000 uh, olives. Let's, let's look up olives real quick. How, they're up here. Olives are June. We're only here in March, so we got three more months. So that thing might be completely full by the time it's time to sell olives. We better get out of here now. There we go. Um, shoot, I was hoping this was going to be ready. We might have to just uh, dump the the fertilizer out of the the sprayer and grab uh, and do the other. But yeah, we got. Oops, that's not. Really, let's not shoot these pallets all over the place, preferably. There. Yeah, that. So. Sunflowers have no problem whatsoever. I wonder, this, the only thing we forgot to do was to roll this field. Which, you know, was because we slapped and... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hoping we have something to do. If not, we might have to... You know, figure something out. You know, if we have to, we'll. Oh wait, we got the we got the hay or the grass field. We can always do the grass field. Yeah, because other than the pH being just a hair low on the soybeans, it's not bad. Let's grab the big tractor. I'm, I'm hoping this is the last time we have to use these. I'm hoping you know this big tractor is big enough where we could put any mower we want on it. You know, it's just a matter of being able to afford it. And of course now we do own this land over here, so if we really need something to do, we can clear out a few of the trees and kind of go from there. <laughs> Whoops, figured they'd come back at it the wrong way. Now, um, we got the, on the, what is it, the 20th of March or something, uh, the new, uh, the new expansion comes out and I do have it already prepaid so we will be getting it so that has to do with bailing I don't know if we'll get any new mowers out of the deal or not but uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we do talking um, <laughs> actually I'm not sure we're gonna make it all the way up uh, this pass without having to come back one nope have to come back one I guess that's okay we don't really we could have you know if I would have sat there and fiddled with it you know just to stay on that line maybe it don't matter so yeah I know it kind of looks like I'm trying to get all the extra stuff that we don't use on the field, but it's just, with three mowers like this, it's hard to shut stuff on and off, and since they're trailed mowers instead of, uh, you know, being right there with us, you know, um, well, they're here with us, but they're not connected to the tractor, let's put it that way. Okay. There we go, they're all shut off now. Let's 
So I, I'm starting to think that uh, if I'm going to park equipment, it needs to be parked over here, not uh, not uh, at the end of the field like we did this last time. And it needs to be, you know, out of the way too. Um, let's make sure we're at the quite correct one when we disconnect this time. I've always disconnected one of the side ones and it's like, well, that's not correct. I know I'm trying to get, you know, use every tractor too, you know, but uh, the other, uh, oh, wait, wrong end. The other tractor doesn't do well with this windrower, so uh, we'll use it for the bailing and stuff. Well, actually, how much horsepower does this uh, windrower use? Uh, I hit the wrong button too purchase. Oh, wait. Oh, still too expensive. Now, this is what we need over on uh, uh, Southern Cross Station. We need that on sale like that. That would be so nice. The, the Volvo BM. Nice. Uh, okay, so our other tractor. Is that a large tractor? No. It is a 200 horsepower tractor. And our windrower. Oh, well then let's hook this up to the to the baler. There's no reason to have this not. And then we'll bring the the Massey up and hook it up to one of the trailers when we're ready. We might bring it up and hook it to all. Well, since we are already on the Massey, let's bring the Massey over. And we're gonna hook to one trailer. Pull it off to the side and then we'll hook onto the other trailer and get out of the way. We might even put the get the other piece out of the way too, but I wish these trailers could just be, you know, connected, but yeah, I think I'm gonna go I, I know a couple I know one modder. And usually there's a bunch of other modders on his web or on his Facebook page, so I'm gonna try asking him my question there about uh, about changing that warehouse so that it's you know so it'll work and maybe I'll look up to see who actually makes the warehouse uh, mod and see if I can uh, find his page or something and ask you know ask him if he could do it because it should be able to look like it's a silo. I mean it's a warehouse technically, but. Uh, there's no reason it shouldn't be able to look like a silo. We'll just park that out of the way. Whoops, don't let me hug that. Come on. Oh! We're up to... Wait. Gee. There we go. No wonder. Man, look at this. The sugar cane's already growing halfway across the field. Halfway decent. Nice. You know, we got three tractors, they might as well all get used. You know, they all got good uses, so... Even though the Massey's gonna go over to the other end of the field, you know, and uh, or up to the other end so it can be used down there, but... I do plan on buying some land down that way after a while. And so I think it's gonna get used. Let's move the green tractor. I just... I'm... <sighs> me and my park and everything in the wrong spot. You know, not to mention it's uh, some time away from the time lapse, right? I quit driving around like a drunkard. Um, see if I can get these two to go together because uh, it's not that very far, you know, and I don't want to be uh, into the soybean field, let's put it that way. But I, I definitely think uh, we're probably going to push the clock ahead here in a little bit. I don't want to spend the whole time on this field. 
but if for some reason the corn is not ready, then we're going to have no choice. Uh, I hope we actually have a corn header. I don't know if we do. We may end up spending the rest of our money to go buy a corn header so we can pick the corn. Because we could just use this tractor, you know, for the for doing everything else. So. You know, for doing the. Uh, I want to explain it, the. For picking up, you know, the running the the wagon, whatever you want to call it. Sure, let's go with that. Instead of running my mouth, I'll be running the wagon. <gasps> okay. Um. Yeah, let's tab down there and we'll get we're gonna sleep. I don't like sleeping twice in an episode, but it just got to that point, you know, where there's just not enough work to do. But I got a feeling after today we're gonna be so busy that it's not gonna matter anyway. And like I said, we may have to run up and get a uh, a header, because I don't think we have a header for this thing that uh does corn. Um Gosh, what's with all the rain? Ah! Oh, I see I forgot to shut course play off. Well, we're not using it anyway, so it really don't matter. Um, let's just run down and see what... Yes, corn is ready. Now, if for some reason we gotta wait and get, you know, the, the corn picker, because we don't have enough money, which, let's go ahead and hit purchase, um... We're just going to go into our harvester, hit combinations. Ah, we do not. See, because that's only a sunflower one there. We had 60 the other day. Um, hold on a second. Um, it is now April. Let's see, we don't have any of the big ones in there. Um, eggs are not April. Um, what else would we have in there? Uh, we don't, we can't sell that. We've got methane, but we got no way to ship it, you know, so we can't sell that. We don't have any of that. Even if that was ready, that's December, that's December. Um, fabric was last month, or, or is this month. Okay, so let's grab, where's the flat? The flatbed's over here, so let's grab this tractor. We'll go run down and grab the flatbed. Oh wait, no, we don't have to. What am I thinking? Duh. The fabric's all in here. Oh my gosh. Um, now we will be at some point, uh, you know, going beyond where we're at, you know, as far as that. Okay. You know, so we'll be getting more than just this for fabric at some point and we are going to uh, get some sheep at some point so we can start running that into the fabric factory as well um see if we can uh, kick out all 25 pallets looks like we're gonna get them all so um looking to see I think it kicked them all out. Let's just go ahead and hit R one more time. Uh, I knew I knew there was one coming up in April, so... Yeah, there's no fabric in there. Is there anything else we need to take a look at? Um, eggs, bread, sugar, honey, olive oil, raisins. What about grape juice? Did we even look at grape juice? I think we did, didn't we? No, we did not. Not until October. So, wow, this thing is quite full. Like I said, I'm going to take it up top. Well, actually, let's see. Where is the best place to sell fabric? I, mean, I wish we had a, a place that actually bought it, but... Uh, in April, and the best place... Yeah, we don't want to go there. Um, we have to take it to the train yard. I, um, when it's that much of a difference, it's the train yard. <laughs> we, we, I am gonna figure out, I'm gonna 
there is a mod, and I think I actually have it, I just haven't put it in the mod directory, that allows you to build anywhere. And if we could build a, a way to back up onto the train car, that would be kind of cool. But for right now, we can just, you know, dump it on the ground and then throw all the bolts of fabric up in there. But I think what the plan is going to be really is to get some sort of like the t-shirt factory or one of the factories that uses cloth, you know, to, to make stuff because, uh, yeah, let's get, let's get the yacht. No, oh, I wish. <laughs> That's the one thing we can't get from that, that, uh, thing, so, um, let's keep pulling forward a little bit. Okay, I don't know how those two got up on top of the pallet, but that's kind of a cool spot for them, right? Dang it, gimme gets, gimme. Oh, it doesn't want to come loose for whatever reason. Can we, like, uh, yeah, I've had this work. Wait, why can't I? Oh, I am still holding it. What the heck? Come on, let go. No, it won't. Oh, there. Did it let go? No, it didn't let go. It's... Uh, what's the problem here? We don't have any loans? No. I'm like, how can we have loans? We've never taken out loans in this thing. Okay. So, whatever the deal is, I'm hoping we can get those two. If not, we'll have to bring the, the wagon over here, see if it'll let us reload them or something. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I mean... Kind of uh, a bright-looking future here, you know. And we've already got enough for the for the corn header, so I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna see if we can get this one or not. Uh, nope. Uh, whatever we have to do, I don't know if we can get this one either. But uh, uh, that one, I'll do that. So. Like I said, I'm hoping we can get those ones up top, but uh, if we can't, that was my own fault for trying to come over here like that and do it kind of funky. Right. So I got a feeling we're going to have a little bit of money here. Oh, we did have a partial uh, fabric one. I, I, I'm really, now that I'm seeing this, I'm thinking uh, there are definitely sheep in our future. Not, you know, not the near future, just future. <laughs> because we, they're probably caught, there's probably going to be some big cotton fields too, so. Uh, one more stuck underneath there too. Oh, crud. Can we get it down here so we can at least, uh, I don't know if we can get that one out of there or not. Oh, there it goes. So, I don't know if I pull up with this thing, if I can get it to, uh, to pick those back up or what I can do. We'll find out here in just a second, I guess, huh? At least we're getting some of this done, you know. Well, we got that one. I'm not sure if we can get the other one. Oops, let's not uh, go crashing into the train. Well, if we lose one, we lose one. You know, it's only a bolt of cotton, or uh, cloth, so. Right. There we go. Now we're getting it. I mean, that's what I get for thinking I can be uh, sneaky and get stuff in there easier. Let's see, if we go I now, we can drop them all on the ground, right? Oh, yeah, dropped them way back here, so. Yay! Holy wow! I mean, that's like... We had uh, 30,000 before, so we just made 
$150,000, uh, yeah. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tab down here to this thing. We're just gonna drop that on the ground there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run up there. Uh, I'm gonna purchase the head once I get up there, and then, uh, I'll come back, so we'll be ready to do the cornfield when I get back, so. All right, so we're back down here on the farm. I parked this here, so it's ready to go. But I thought, you know, let's get some of this other stuff done. I, I wish I could get this thing to work, but the, the resetting of the bales. Um, come on. It just, that's the problem. If it didn't uh, do it in the middle of the bale, um, let's see, we need to have that 220. So we're going to set that up. Let's just go ahead and go down to this end of the field. We'll probably, you know, we'll end up at this end of the field too, but that's okay. It'd be easier than we just come back and park this here. I'm gonna see if I can uh, figure. It. There's got to be a way to uh, to change that. If nothing else, maybe I can put it on just a button over on my thing that doesn't. It should not do X. It should only do Control X. And uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll try it here after I'm done with the video and uh, see if we can get it to work. But uh, get this. Already the low, I think it's lowered, yep. All right, I didn't think that was going to take very long. I knew we'd be on the last pass before we knew it. But I didn't have enough time left for the cornfield to get completely done in one shot. And we're, we're going to wrap these, just not right now. Um, so when we do tomorrow's video, we're not going to do a... Uh, uh, we won't sleep at all since we slept in the place of it. And uh, all that fun stuff. I am thinking about uh, changing stuff up though, because uh, I'm looking at this and we've got 125,000. We could very easily buy another slot of land. I know I want to buy that land over there and that would be a lot easier to do, I guess, in a way. But I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know, kind of thinking about it, how I want to do it and uh, how do I, uh, oh, unload. I'm like looking at it and all I see is unfold and it's actually unload, but uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to get this dropped and then get hooked up to the machine I need to be hooked up to. I, I think we're probably going to have to uh, put a large shed over here just for mowing, but uh, since we're going to remove the mowing field, it's going to be uh, different. See, I, I want to buy, you know, new equipment for mowing and stuff. But I don't want to have to do it while we still own this little itty bitty field. Okay, so we're hooked up. Um, I'm going to just kind of move over so I'm lined up with this set here, you know, and uh, we're not going to... We're not going to start, let's put it that way. Um, but let's go ahead and look at, at what we could do. If we went to mowers, um, and that's not bad. Uh, I mean, less than 30,000 for that one, but we're looking at 8.3. Um, what is that? That is 10 meters. So that's almost, it's almost 100,000, not quite, but, uh, so now do these go together as a unit, or how does that work? Yes, it is actually a, 
these do go together and how big is that that's 12 compared to 10 and then uh, I think this is the one that we got over on the other one that's 10.2 but I'm thinking 12 would be nicer um yeah I think we man oh that's really expensive though that's the problem so we could go with the Pottinger. Uh, I think this Fila is only a side. Yeah, so you get, you know, uh, but 3.6 and 3, which is only 9.6. So that's definitely not, you know, that's only that's ten point two. I mean, we use the Kubota already on another on another one, so I'm not sure. You know, and this thing here is ten two as well, but and it's the exact same price. I'm trying to think, how do we? I think if we do it, we're probably going to get the Vicon, but that's still going to bring us down at five six seven. So 30, uh, 50, we'd be at 50,000. So we wouldn't be able to buy a new plot of land. So we don't, we wouldn't be using them right away. That's the problem. I mean, these things are nice, but whatever, you know, they're not great, but I am going to keep the front one. Um, that way we can uh, get rid of bushes in, you know, in the center. I mean, we don't have to repaint stuff to do it. Well, yeah, cause it's only 3,500. We're only going to get like a thousand back out of it. So. I'm trying to decide, see, um, the, it, I'm trying to decide between uh, the plot of land down here on that end and the plot of land next to our uh, sunflower field. I mean, sunflowers will be done in like, uh, what, six episodes, something like that? You know, and if you think about it, we've got, if we look at the map, um, wait, click on that quick. As soon as it comes back from the save, okay. So, you know, right now we're right here, you know, with that field. We want to extend the field all the way out to here. I mean, that's going to make a big field. Um, and then plus we're going to have all this area, but we got all these trees here, all these trees here to get rid of. So we're going to have a lot of trees. Um, if we buy this one, we're putting our uh, our lumber mill down here so we can just go right from here down to the lumber mill. We'll probably actually clear out trees down here, you know, and make a path all the way through on this edge. Um, and then we'll just, once the field is clean, then we'll build the field. But, you know, this little part ain't no big deal. I'm just, you know, I thought about it, you know, it's like there's only two trees out there, really. And we wouldn't get much for money wise. But then, see, the nice thing is, even though this is all clay, we can put this together, you know, make that all one big field. We might have to rescan the middle of it, but that's no big deal. Uh, and if we made a big field here, I'm sure there's probably clay here, but I got a feeling up in here it's all, you know, loam or loamy sand. Hopefully not sandy loam, but uh, yeah, because I think that would be uh, probably the best type of thing. So instead of going and getting lawn mowing equipment right away, let's go ahead and purchase this. Um, and let's do it now instead of uh, next time. Because then I can get stuff parked over here and be ready, you know, and start looking at how we want to do this. So uh, it says this is loam out here, so. You know, if you look at like that, well, that one doesn't say nothing. Oh, it's just loam right there on the end. But uh, sometimes on certain maps, it'll show you, you know, what it thinks is in different uh, spots. You know, personally, I'd like to have, you know, this whole area here myself, you know, but I do want to, at some point, I want to buy up this lot here. See, oh, we can buy 61 as well. Okay. Um, that's where all our equipment is, you know, where all those buildings and stuff are. We might buy that because of, just because, oh, we, it know, uh, yeah, we don't own it, but uh, we might buy that along with this. Let's go ahead and buy this one. I want to see, what are we left with for money-wise? We have 40. So for 20, let's buy this because then when we go to uh, 
add on because we're going to add on a slurry tank or not a slurry tank uh, um the other tank so we're probably going to clear this we'll, we'll probably buy this lot over here next you know and then we'll get some stuff done over here we'll make a small field um probably on this side and put some businesses in but uh yeah let's go ahead and buy that I, for twenty thousand. it's not going to kill us we'll make that back overnight um <laughs> it is kind of scary that we make that just about overnight but yeah I mean, see, and we could actually, now that we're going to own this, you know, down the road, we could say, well, let's get this one instead of 12, because most likely with the way um, this one, let's see, go back to, we go back to this and we looked at the scan. There's some green in here. So there's going to be green and there's going to be loamy sand, there's sandy loam and loamy sand, or, and loam up here so we're probably going to get lucky you know some loam i'm guessing this one we might hit a little bit of the, the, lo the sandy loam a little bit but uh you know look at how much this field's been making us this one's, this one's going to making us money hand over fist so uh now that we own all this we can start thinking about stuff you know we're not going to get the you know the uh lumber mill what we're going to end up doing is the first uh, couple trips we're going to have to take it up to the lumber mill here but I'm only going to do like one load or two loads a day. You know, we're not going to sit in every day, you know, we're not going to sit and run a whole episode. That's nothing but that. But I do want to thank everybody for coming. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys next time. Uh, remember to like, share, follow, um, ring the bell, make a comment, uh, whatever you think, you know. So I will see you guys next time.